Yeah. Uh, thank you, Cahirlach. Cahirlach, uh, um, the variable mortgage interest rates uh, in this state uh, are 2% above the European average. European average. So in other words, there are states in Europe where variable mortgage interest rates are less, more than 2% below the rates uh, that we have here. This means uh, an extra 167 euro per month for a household for every 100,000 that is owed on the mortgage. So someone with a 200,000 euro uh, uh, mortgage, you're talking in terms of more than 330 uh, euro per month of a difference. This means real hardship for working class people. It means real hardship for middle class people. And it also means uh, a serious deflation uh, of our economy uh, itself. Now, okay, here, like the Anti Austerity Alliance uh, People Before Profit will be broadly supporting uh, this bill, uh, we'll be uh, offering our support for it uh, on the grounds that. Uh, it will mean a certain pressure on the banks to lower rates. Uh, it will give certain increased uh, powers uh, to intervene against uh, some of the actions of uh, the banks. But our support for the bill will be a very critical support uh, in uh, reality because we believe that the bill falls short and far short uh, of the measures that need to be uh, uh, taken. Cahirlach, the uh, Allied Irish banks uh, nearly 100% in state ownership. Uh, permanent TSB, uh, state, state, the, the, the state of the stake, uh, the state, uh, a clear uh, majority. Uh, these banks, as well as other banks, uh, should be run on the basis of public service, the needs of the people, uh, rather than on a for, uh, rather than on a for-profit uh, uh, basis. There is a privatisation agenda uh, driven by the government uh, at work in relation to the banks. The banks are being fattened up. They're being fattened up uh, for the uh, uh, private operators to get majority uh, uh, control of. Uh, and that's the root cause of a lot of the problems uh, that we have uh, at the moment. The, the profit motive in banking is the root cause of uh, many of the problems that are faced uh, here. But the bill refuses to recognise that. In fact, the bill makes uh, major concessions uh, to that uh, uh, approach uh, by um, conceding, uh, at the heart of the bill, conceding the idea uh, that uh, a reasonable profit uh, to lenders um, should be part of the guidelines that the central bank uh, would uh, operate uh, uh, with. Uh, refusing to recognise that the needs of ordinary people is in conflict with the profit motive, uh, motive behind uh, the banks at the moment. And that is the key weakness of this piece of uh, legislation. So we will support, but it will be a very critical uh, uh, support. What is needed? What is needed at the moment? Uh, what is needed is interest rates that are payable by ordinary people. What is needed is mortgages that are written down where debt is unpayable. Um, what is not needed uh, is court proceedings uh, against uh, huge numbers of mortgage holders and what is absolutely not needed is the type of repossessions and evictions that we've seen across the state in uh, recent times. Now, Cahirlock, in conclusion, in order to do that, what needs to be said is, number one, no privatisation of the banks, number two, a rejection of the profit motive in relation to the running of the banks. It should be a public service for the needs of our people. That means that the banks need to be maintained in public ownership and where they're not in public ownership, taken back uh, into uh, public ownership. And last but not least, the boards of the banks need to have a totally different agenda than the agenda at play at the moment. They need to be democratically controlled, democratic public ownership with an agenda of attempting to meet the needs of the people rather than to make the banks ever more uh, uh, profitable. That's what's needed and on that basis, yes, 
we will be voting uh, in support, uh, but it is a critical support and we reserve the right to put down uh, uh, amendments at future stage.